What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel, we're gonna do a small how-to video. Uh, this is on how to change an oven light. Uh, we've had the light go out in the oven during cooking, and so now here we are putting a light bulb in it. So pretty straightforward task. Stick around to the end of the video where I'll show you a pro tip on something you just might not know about. Let's get down to it. All right, guys, so step one, we're going to get in here. Um, all ovens are pretty much the same, what I've been looking at. Um, they all are going to have some, some sort of bulb or some sort of cover. Um, this one has a spin-on glass porcelain piece. Um, it's, it might be a kind of a pain in the butt to get off. It might be on there kind of tight. But you just unscrew your porcelain piece, and it comes out just like that. So you're going to put your glass piece somewhere. Um, and then you can thread out your light bulb. Obviously, you do not want to do this when the oven is uh, nice and hot. So um, your light bulb comes out. It's a standard light bulb like this. Um, the I highly recommend you go with an appliance bulb. These appliance bulbs uh, are available at your local box store. Um, the appliance bulbs are important because they ex uh, they're designed to ex withstand the extreme temperatures. So go ahead, I'll roll in a picture of it here. Um, these are about $3 um, and we'll get this light bulb changed out to a new one. All right, so once you have your light bulb out of the package, go ahead, we'll thread it in. Uh, with the door open, the light bulb should come right on. Obviously don't look at the light bulb when you're screwing it in. Okay, and we have illumination. Now we're gonna go ahead and replace our glass piece. Make sure it's snug. You don't want vibration to, uh, to jar it loose. All right, now, might have required me to look directly at the bulb to see where I was going, but we're gonna get our glass piece screwed back in here. You fight with it long enough, you'll figure it out. All right, snug it down and we're good to go. Now we'll make sure that it works. All right, outstanding. I'm also gonna control it by my oven light. Looks good to me. All right, guys, so a quick, uh, quick, simple $3 fix. Make sure you get an appliance bulb so that it will last or withstand the test of time and those crazy temperatures that are inside your oven. Um, I haven't tried to do it with a small, regular bulb, but if you're so cheap that you can't spend the $3 on it, then uh, you, I don't know what to tell you. Um, I think you need to check up from the neck up. So uh, I promised you guys a pro tip. Uh, at the end of the video, let's go ahead and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring you down close to the oven again and I'm going to show you this pro tip and how uh, working on your oven or doing this light may be even a little easier. If you ever want to remove the door on your oven, there's a couple different latch designs, but this latch design is incredibly simple on the LGs. Um, you just pull up this tab here on both sides. We'll go over to the other side, we'll pull this tab and I'll show you how easy it is to take the door off. All right, so some might take a screwdriver to pry it up out of here. Once you get it pried up out of there, we're ready, and we can take the door off. So as soon as you have your latches off on both sides, you can simply lift the door up out of here and straight off the front of the oven. Pretty simple, just like that allows you a lot more access to work on your oven. Maybe you want to work on your light. Um, just be careful with your door. And then when you're, when you're finished, you can pop it right back into place. Once you've got it back into place, put your latches back into the, into the original position and you're good to go. All right, guys, I hope you learned something that you didn't know before. Um, I hope that pro tip really helped you out if you ever want to take off your oven door. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward process. Uh, every brand probably has their own design, but they're all pretty much straightforward the same. I'm sure you can figure it out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you'd like, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Um, be sure to correct me in the comments because a lot of people love to do that. So I look forward to seeing your comments below. As always, we'll see you guys in the next video and maybe we'll have something else cool to talk about.